Hey everyone, ready to hit the road. Hit the road uh, to Ireland, I hope. Exactly. We're talking Ireland road trip planning today. Yeah, this is going to be fun. And I am so excited to dive into all these articles and tips. So much good stuff to unpack. It really is like a treasure trove. Yeah. So much to think about. Well, that's why we're here. Exactly. Let's like distill it down to the essentials. Right, and help everyone plan the best possible trip. You know, it can be overwhelming. So overwhelming. When you first start thinking about it. Absolutely, especially with a place like Ireland. So many possibilities. Endless possibilities. And it's not just about logistics, you know? No, not at all. Like flights and hotels. It's about capturing the spirit of the place. Right. It's about the vibe. Totally. And this newsletter gets it. It does. Love Ireland by Scripter Cogitationum. Packed with practical advice. And local insights. Uh, published just this week, actually. Oh, wow. October 25th, 2024. Piping hot off the presses. So it's fresh and ready to inspire. It really is. And they even include some classic Irish proverbs. Oh, yeah. I love those. Like this one. If you can see Slemish Mountain, it's going to rain. Because if you can't see it, it's already raining. Oh, my gosh. I love classic it. Classic Irish humor. It makes you think, right? Like, how often was Slemish shrouded in mist? Exactly. For that saying to become so widespread. More than just a weather report. Right. It's a glimpse into a culture. Totally. That's learned to embrace the unpredictable. And probably pack a good raincoat just in case. Definitely just in case. Speaking of cultural insights, mm -hmm. the newsletter also mentioned a visitor's guide to Sligo, Ireland. Oh, yes. I know we're focused on the road trip today. Yeah. But Sligo deserves its own deep dive sometime. It totally does. The land around Sligo was such a muse for W.B. Yeats. Oh, yeah. His poetry is practically woven into the landscape. There are all these spots you can visit. I know. That are straight out of his tomes. Like Ben Bolben, this yeah. dramatic flat top mountain. Or the Isle of Innisfree, you know, which he made famous. Famous in his poem. The Lake Isle of Innisfree. It's just perfect example of how landscape and literature intertwine in Ireland. It's not just seeing pretty views. You no. Know? It's feeling the layers of history and stories beneath your feet. I love that. And speaking of stories. Yeah. Nothing sets the mood for a road trip like good music. Totally agree. You know, Sharon, Shannon and Steve Earle just did a live performance of Galway Girl. Wow, talk about a soundtrack for our adventure. Perfect road trip music. And it reminds us there's an entire world of Irish music waiting to be discovered. Oh, for sure. The newsletter even mentions an article about winter music in Ireland. Ooh, interesting. Featuring everyone from folk legends to contemporary artists. Oh, wow. So you could plan your trip around a music festival. Yeah, you could. Okay, so we got music. We've got literary landscapes we've got proverbs proverbs packed with wisdom but maybe before we get too carried away yeah should we check the weather report probably a good idea we don't want to get caught in a sudden downpour no met irian ireland's meteorological service yeah, is I... forecasting a full week of dry weather oh wow which is encouraging but as we learn from those proverbs right Best to be prepared for anything. Always be prepared. Layers are your friend. Layers are key. When traveling in Ireland. For sure. And a good sense of adventure. Always. The newsletter mentions County Offaly as a potential hidden gem. Oh, yeah. Calling it the heart of Ireland. With a mix of history and outdoor activities. I'm intrigued. Well, they specifically highlight Clon McNoise. Okay. This incredible early Christian monastic site. Wow. Right on the banks of the River Shannon. I've heard that. It's got these intricately carved high crosses. Oh, wow. Round towers, ruins of churches. I can practically feel history whispering to you there. You really can. Wow, that sounds amazing. And for the outdoor adventure part. Yeah. What does Offaly have to offer? The Sleeve Bloom Mountains. Oy. They're supposed to be stunned. They're not as towering as some of Ireland's other ranges. Right. But they have these beautiful walking trails. I love that. That wind through forests, past waterfalls, and up to panoramic viewpoints. So beautiful. It's a chance to really get away from the crowds. Yes. And experience a quieter side of Ireland. So we've got ancient history at Clon Macnoise. And breathtaking hikes in the sleeve blooms. Awfully is definitely going on the list. It's a great reminder that sometimes the most rewarding destinations right. are the ones you stumble upon. Not the ones plastered all over the tourist brochures. Exactly. Okay, before we get too lost in our itinerary, yeah. let's talk practicalities. Good idea. Packing essentials. Okay. I know you're going to say a good raincoat. I was going to say a good raincoat, but there's something else even more essential. More essential than a raincoat in Ireland. It might sound small. Okay. I'm intrigued. But trust me, it's important. Okay. Lay it on me. 
A power adapter. Oh, right. A very specific one. Specific for Ireland. The UK-Ireland-Scotland-Type-G adapter. Okay, yeah, I've heard of that. Seems like a small detail. Right. But you don't want to arrive and realize you can't charge your phone or your camera. Picture this. (laughs) You've just witnessed the most incredible sunset over the cliffs of Moher. Oh, yeah. You reach for your phone to capture the moment. And it's dead? Dead. No Instagram-worthy photo. No way to navigate to your cozy B&B. No way to call for help if your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere. It's a nightmare. Small investment can save you a lot of hassle. So much hassle. And heartache. All right, so we've got our rain gear. Got a power adapter. We've got a growing list of must-see spots. What else has caught your eye as we've been digging into this treasure trove? Hmm, let me think. You know, it's amazing how a few... Well-chosen details can set the tone for a trip. Oh, yeah. Like that proverb about Slemish Mountain right. and the rain. It's not just about the weather. I know. It's about that wry Irish humor. Exactly. And the connection to the land. It really paints a picture. It does. And I love how we're weaving together these different elements. Yeah, too. The proverbs, the landscapes, the music. It's like building a tapestry. Of the Irish experience. Exactly. And speaking of experiences, yeah, I noticed something in the newsletter we haven't touched on yet. What's that? A section called Experiences Likely to Sell Out in 2024. No oh, good catch. So even though we're encouraging spontaneity, right. a little bit of planning can go a long way. Especially if there are specific things you have your heart set on. Right. It looks like guided tours of historical sites. Okay. Like Newgrange and the Rock of Cashel are booking up quickly. Makes sense. Those are bucket list items for a lot of people. Yeah. And also some of the more popular driving routes. Oh, like the Wild Atlantic Way. Wild Atlantic Way, exactly. So maybe a little pre-booking wouldn't hurt. Just to guarantee those once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Right. It's all about finding that balance. That balance between planning and serendipity. Absolutely. Now, while we're on the topic of planning, the newsletter also mentioned something essential to any trip. Essential to any trip? Food. Of course, food. There's a section dedicated to Irish food you will love. Oh, yeah. With a question posed to the readers. Do you ever make a full Irish at home? Ah, the full Irish breakfast. You know. A true culinary adventure. I've actually attempted it a few times myself. Really? But, you know, there's something about the atmosphere. Yeah. Of a cozy Irish pub. Or a guest house. That just elevates the experience. I completely agree. It's like the difference between reading a cookbook. And savoring a meal. Crafted with local ingredients. And generations of culinary tradition. Exactly. And that's what makes traveling so special, isn't it? It really is. It's not just about seeing new places. It's about immersing yourself in the culture. Through all your senses. The sights, the sounds, the smells. And of course, the tastes. Speaking of immersing ourselves. Yes. This deep dive is really helping us do just that. It is from those insightful proverbs. To the musical landscape. And the delicious food. Is there anything else we should explore before we wrap up this incredible journey? Hmm. You know, we've covered a lot of ground. We have, from practical tips to cultural insights. But there's one more element in the newsletter that I think ties it all together. Oh, really? It's a section called The Craig. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And it focuses on Irish childhood. It talks about how Irish children used to play outdoors for hours. Yeah, making up games using their imaginations. I think it speaks to a deeper truth about Irish culture. Yeah. That sense of wonder, that connection to nature. That ability to find joy in simple things. You see it reflected in everything. Yeah, from those whimsical proverbs. To the traditional music that's been passed down through generations. It makes you think about how those childhood experiences shape our worldview, our sense of humor, even our approach to travel. What's fascinating is that by understanding a culture's childhood, you gain a deeper appreciation for its values and traditions. And that, in turn, makes your travel experience so much richer. It's like we've been peeling back the layers of the onion. I like that analogy. Starting with the practicalities of planning a trip. Then delving into those cultural nuances. And now with this glimpse into Irish childhood. We're getting to the heart of what makes Ireland so special. It's not just about understanding Ireland. It's about understanding ourselves. Travel has this incredible ability to make us more curious. More open minded More appreciative of the world around us. It's like that Irish proverb says. Which one? A man loves his wife, his dog, and his fiddle. Oh, yeah. But his love for his country will outlast them all. That's beautiful. And I think that deep love for Ireland. You'll feel it everywhere you go. In the warmth of the people, the beauty of the landscapes. The rhythm of the music. It stays with you long after you've returned home. 
So as we wrap up this deep dive. What's the one piece of advice you'd give to our listeners? Who are ready to embark on their own Irish adventure. Mm, good question. I'd say embrace the unexpected. Oh, I like that. Have a plan, of course. But be open to detours, to chance encounters, to those moments of serendipity. The things that make a journey truly memorable. Exactly. Allow yourself to get lost in the magic of Ireland. You're bound to have an experience that'll stay with you forever. So to our listeners out there, get those maps out. Start dreaming. Get ready to experience the magic of Ireland firsthand. This deep dive is just the beginning of your adventure. Happy travels, everyone. Colin, go foia.